click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. We are right now learning about different designs and in case of infinite life. In today's session, we are going to look at the second numerical where we are going to apply the theory of infinite life and find out certain dimensions. So the problem statement is there in front of you. We have been given this particular product which has certain thickness with it. Let us mention it. So there is a variation in the cross section. Thickness is same for both. The component shown has the ultimate tensile strength at 630 Newton per millimeter square. There is a reverse axial load acting of 50 kilonewton on it. Since it's a reverse load, there are two possibilities, either the finite or infinite case we have to consider. The expected reliability is 90%. Factor of safety given is 2. The size factor mentioned is 0.85. The notch sensitivity is 0.8. We need to find out thickness considering infinite light. The only change here if you see there is a change in cross section and there is a fillet addition. So in order to find out this trace concentration factor we need to consider both of these criteria that variation of the area of cross section as well as the fillet. Let us begin with the theoretical endurance limit which is given by the ultimate stress divided by factor of safety. The factor of safety in our case is 2 and that's why it will be divided multiplied by 0.5. After solving this we will get Newton per millimeter square. Now using this as the base value let us proceed to find out the corrected value of the endurance limit. Now we can always make it out from the PhD data book that for the given case the first factor k is 0.76 the size factor is already given the third factor kc we can figure out from the probability 90 percent is 0.897 in order to find out the fourth factor we need to find out kf and to find out kf we need to find out the stress concentration factor now the stress concentration factor is 2.27 and it is based on the given dimensions. For example, this dimension is 100 divided by 50. The larger dimension divided by the smaller comes out to be 2. Whereas the radius, fillet radius is 5 times the R and the small dimension is 50. So it comes out to be 0.21. So based on these two factors from the PhD data book again, stress concentration factor could be figured out to be 2.27. Now we already know this equation, let's substitute the values. After evaluating, we will get Kf is equal to, now the fourth factor that we can figure out is the correction for the stress concentration factor is exactly the inverse of this procedure and that comes out to be somewhere around 0.496. Now in order to find out the corrected value of endurance limit let us add all these factors together that comes out to be 0.496 and therefore the corrected value comes out to be somewhere around 90.54 Newton per millimeter square. Now we have to consider the notch sensitivity also because in this case there is a variation in cross section also and therefore the amplitude stress or amplitude value of the endurance limit stress is given by 0.8 times the actual value comes out to be somewhere around 72.43 Newton per millimeter square. But ahead of it, finding out the amplitude stress in this case will be quite easy considering the smaller dimension. This value is actually 
but the amplitude value will be given by the force divided by area of cross section the smallest area of cross section so the force given in this case and the smallest area of cross section can be equated to this value 36.215 and therefore the possible thickness in this case is given by somewhere around 27.61 millimeter so this is how the thickness for the infinite life of this particular product can be found out using the given criteria. In next section, we will try to solve a, a numerical based on the design for finite life for the reverse load. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.